Disneyland has reopened, and with it, the new Snow White's Enchanted Wish opened. Uh, this is the new version of Snow White's Scary Adventures, and I have video footage here. I'm going to analyze it and point out the changes. So first, the exterior has been completely redone with new paint. They brighten everything up to go with the new lighter tone of the attraction. And of course, that's also reflected in the new name. Uh, the new name's good enough, and the exterior is nice. I'm fine with these changes. Uh, moving into the queue, nothing has changed here much, but uh, this area, which was formerly the dungeon, has been redone into Snow White's bedroom. It's well themed and fits the new tone, and I like it. Uh, moving to the ride itself, the first change would be in the dwarf's cottage. Snow White is not walking up the stairs anymore. She's been replaced with some barrels and critters, and she's instead dancing with the dwarf singing the silly song. Moving on to the mine, it's been completely refreshed. Uh, they have the screen showing the doors going off to work. That looks seamless, and inside the mine itself, they put the doors in there where formerly they were absent, so that's a great change that was much needed, and there's also lots of new lights. Moving forward, we have the Evil Queen transforming into the old hag, which still has the original effect, which remains convincing, but the area has been refreshed with new projection effects. And after we go through the dungeon a bit, the skeletons that were there before have been removed to lighten it up. The replacement to those are these potions and flasks that look really cool with the projections and lights. And then there's the scene where the old hag creates the poison apple. It is far superior to how it was previously. The apple has a new effect where it goes from a red to a green with the skull on top. That is really impressive and there's also a new projection effect covering the whole space. And then the thing that was most worrying about this whole refurbishment, uh, Disney chose to remove the scene where the old hag offers you an apple, which is of course a crucial plot element in the story, but they've kept it by placing the story element in a new scene in a new spot with a mirror that shows Snow White taking a bite of the poison apple and then it shatters. So this crucial part of the story is still there just in a different form and it works really well. Uh, and then the scene where the doors rush off to kill the old hag is gone as was expected, but it's been redone in a new spot, except it's just the doors. Uh, no old hag falling, unfortunately, but it's suitable. It's a suitable replacement. Uh, then the new scene where Snow White awakes from her death sleep. Oh my god, wow, it's wonderful. Once she awakes, the whole scene fades away and we see a book concluding the story. And then we move on to where the old hag death scene was previously. And it's been replaced with Snow White heading off with her prince to his castle. And then that's it. That's the end. Uh, I'm very impressed with this new refurbishment. I would say it's an improvement. Uh, it's definitely different with the new tone, but I really like what they did. The story still flows well, and the new projection effects and new scenes look, just look so good. It's all up to date, so I, for one, really like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. With this new Fantasyland uh, refurb, which has been taking place since 2012, I think, with the Alice in Wonderland update, I'm hoping that the next Fantasyland Dark Ride that gets updated is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, but who knows? For now, Snow White's Enchanted Wish is a magical addition to Disneyland.